Hey everybody, I'm going to be tapping in and seeing what's coming up for April. This is going to be my energy forecast. Super excited because Mercury is running out now. Um, we're in the very tail end of Mercury retrograde. So if you haven't already been clearing, decluttering, you know, getting things out of your life, and it's not just necessarily the things, it's internally too, thinking, what do I need to let go of? Maybe you need to let go of some people or some friendships that are not of the same frequency or that um, have been held, holding you back in some way. Maybe it could be things. Maybe it could be a job. Um, where are you just not happy? Where are you not feeling it? Where you just feel like when you're around a situation or something or someone that you're just like, oh my God, I just can't do this. Um, and that is actually going to be the feeling going into April when I tap into the energy of April. It's going to be a very in-your-face. It's going to be very clear. A lot of clarity is going to be coming up this month for everybody. So you're going to start actually tapping more into your body, feeling things, knowing if people are draining you, situations are draining you. Maybe you've been in that job forever and you go to that job and you're just like, I can't do this anymore. Like it's just really suffocating me or you start getting a lot sick. I'm laughing because there's this bird. So you may be hearing this bird. I think it's a baby crow. I have no idea, but it's yakking. Uh, today I went on my Facebook Live. I would love for you guys to, to um, come and come to my Facebook Live because I do a lot of readings there, and I've been channeling tons of messages today for people there. So it is a very high energy, too, in April. Um, April is also going to be the time where new doors are opening up for you. Uh, in the United States, you know, we're, we're in spring now, and so this is the time to be really thinking about co-creating with the universe what you want to manifest what do you want to bring in what change do you want uh, the other thing is happening this month a lot of clarity but I also see a lot of aha moments where you're just gonna like out of the blue just get these answers that maybe you've been asking for searching for for a long time it's going to be like it just comes out the other theme I see for April is inspiration new inspiration um, usually this happens in spring anyways what do we want we want to Clutter. It's called, that's why it's called spring cleaning. We want to get everything out and we're ready to bring in something new. You know, summer months are a very uh, productive, happy time. The sun, the sun is vitamin D. Maybe in your health intuitive will tell you you cannot get enough vitamin D, especially now. I've been seeing a, um, a tons of my health intuitive readings that uh, we're just not absorbing enough sun like we used to. So make sure you're going outside, getting grounded, going out in the sun. 30 minutes a day, no sunscreen, absorbing that sun. It's your happy hormone, and it will help you in all ways. Um, I am going to pull some cards. I just first wanted to tap into the energy and just tell you what I feel and see coming up. Um, one thing with inspiration coming in, inspiration is the, the amazing feeling that you get when you're inspired. That is the energy that you're putting out there, and it's so much easier to manifest and bring you to you the miracles and magic that you love in life because you're in that energy of inspired. And think about it, it's called in spirit. So when you're in spirit, which is inspired, you're in alignment with your heart center, with your soul center, with your desires. And so going with that and listening to the inspiration that comes into you. Uh, the other thing that I see happening this month is, you know, you may be just jumping off the cliff and going into faith. And, and this is a hard thing for a lot of people. It's gambling more. And I don't mean literally gambling, I mean taking those risks, jumping off that cliff, energetically opening up to faith and trust, and knowing that the universe, spirit, God, whoever it is that you believe in, always has your back, always has your back. But you need to do the trust issue, the trust, in order to allow them to show up and be there for you. So this is the month, too, where you're not, not going to know how, and it's not for you to know how to get there. It's more for you to let go and allow the universe to work for you. It's, it's, it's actually going to be a lovely month of working with magic. Magic, obviously, is one of my favorite things to do, is working with the, the energy of magic to manifest into your life. Um, the other thing I see, too, for, especially for women out there, I am empower women. I love my goddess retreats. I am doing a goddess retreat in um, Hawaii in September. But the other thing is you are going to feel like, you know, I'm ready to step in my power. And it may be really, really scary. It may be this, um, wow, I have to really let go of a lot of belief systems that I've had for so long that, you know, the woman can't do this. The woman's not strong enough. I'm not meant to do that. I'm not able to give to myself. 
us as women, it's really hard. I have five children, and we give so much of our energy away. We're caretakers. We give everything away. I'm not saying men are not caretakers, but now we're stepping into a new role energetically, into a new lifetime. Next year, actually, is the dragon years. I'll talk about that another day. But the dragon years is your power year. So this is the year where women are going to be stepping into our power, which is amazing. And for some of us, it will feel like, am I being selfish? You know, and you've been giving, 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 and it's hard for you to give to yourself. But the opposite is the true is, is, is when you give to yourself, then you're actually giving to others. Because if you're happy, if your heart's not happy and whole and has energy, then there's no way you can ripple it out to others. So by giving back to yourself, you're actually going to give your kids, your family, your loved ones, everyone more power because they're going to see you stepping into your power, you fulfilling yourself, you going in and rejuvenating your heart and center. So that's the other thing that I see, um, especially for women. And this is also great. So when women step into the power, this is great for men too because now men don't feel like they have all the responsibility of, of whatever. They don't feel like they have to do everything, you know. The old school, um, and I'm talking old school, like my parents, my, my mom is 83, so like my parents' age, the woman stayed at home, the man was the provider, the man did everything, the woman, you know, she she cleaned, she cooked. Um, if she worked, that was very rare, it wasn't that time, you know, you're supposed to stay at home. Well, things are changing, and now the woman is coming to the power. Within another four to five years, maybe a little bit longer. I actually feel women are going to be the breadwinners. We're already moving that way, but it'll even be more. And there'll be more dads actually staying at home. The The rules are changing. We're moving into goddess years. We're in golden times right now, golden ages. And we're going to be um, moving further into dragon ages next year, 2020, for the next uh, seven to eight years. I haven't channeled exactly how long yet. But that's going to be a very powerful year. So this is the year that if you are a woman, know that it's okay. Know that it is your sole purpose to step into your power. Know that, you know, it may feel weird and it may be like, am I doing this right? And you maybe have a lot of releasing, but just go into the trust. Uh, one thing I would have you check out is Kundalini. I work a lot in Kundalini with my retreats. Kundalini Yoga uh, kundalini music, kundalini meditation. Kundalini is when you get into your power, and that is the most powerful energy there is. And when you're in your power is when you can manifest magic and miracles. Not can you, you do. So I would really suggest, uh, especially this month in April, looking into kundalini, playing the kundalini music in your house, meditating. You can never really get enough kundalini. I do kundalini energy healings. The minute I unleash that kundalini, it's like, watch out. Power is risen, and people can feel it and sense it and know it. It's amazing how uh, when you step into your power, you'll start seeing people around you looking at you differently. When you're in your power, your shoulders are back. You have this uh, confidence level about you. Confidence is the most sexiest thing for me. And when you're in your confidence, when you're in your power, that is what you're emitting, and that's what you're going to attract and bring to you. So know that, okay, this month. So let's pull some cards here. And as I am, I went, these are my animal totem cards, me being a Pacific, I love my animals, of course. Um, and I will be in um, May in Florida doing a three-day workshop, uh, healing, manifesting workshop, stepping you into your power. It's a, it's a healing and manifesting. Um, it's at Sarasota Yacht Club, so I hope that you guys come, and I can't wait to power you up, get you in your power, and look at this, what just totally found out of the deck, which is amazing because I just talked about Florida, right? The ocean. Whale spirit. So this is the month of whale spirit. This is the month, it says, trust the great mystery. And is what I'm hearing for this card means, just like they are, take a leap of faith. You, you, you're going to not know where you're going. You are going to start getting clarity. You've probably already been feeling this way. You know, I, I, I want all these things. Um, I'm waiting for a new door. Maybe you don't even know what it is. You know, and this is the month where I see you taking a leap of faith, just going for it, and trusting. You, you, you're not going to see the whole ending, but trusting that where you're going, if you're in a line with your heart and your soul and spirit, you're going to end up even better than you can imagine. Um, I also see you need to play more. This is the month to play, to get into play. When you play, 
is when that energy you're putting out there is what you're going to bring bringing back to you. So playing when you're happy, when you're laughing, when you're having fun, that is when you're manifesting all these great things back to you because you're not worried, you're not concerned, you're in trust, you're taking a leap of faith. Um, I also see with this card I'm hearing water, 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 water. So we're to drink a lot of water this month. Uh, take baths, take showers, clear your energy field. A nice, a nice, clean, clearing energy field is the most important thing in your life. Me being an energy healer for over 20 years, I will tell you, you need to do energy hygiene, okay? Just like brushing your teeth. We all have attachments. Everywhere you go, people you're around, you're in the work, workforce, you're at home with your kids, whatever it is, all of those have energy cords that come into your energy field. And this is also with the TV going, shut off the news, shut off negative media. First thing in my book, shut off negative media. Anything negative is feeding your energy field. Be thinking of that. And when you hear and you listen, and this could be even Facebook. Facebook, you know, if there's negative posts, you know, just don't be around that energy. You're going to be super sensitive. And there is some people that are more sensitive than others, of course, to energy. Uh, this is a month if you are sen sensitive to energy, then you're really going to have to take really good care of your clearing your energy field often. Um, baths, um, you know, Epsom salt baths, smudging yourself, doing the three tea lights and a bowl of water throughout your house. Uh, doing frankness and swiping yourself down, getting energy healings, um, massage therapy, you know, doing the work. The work is listening to your body and healing it. And just knowing that your energy field is the most important. That's whatever is in here and out here that you can't see, but you can feel. It can come into your body. Not only it can, it does. And it can manifest into illness, sickness, and you don't want that. It can also block you from abundance. So it's really important to be nice, crystal, and clear. I'm also hearing with this, as I, as I talk here, is being crystal clear with your intentions. What are your intentions this month? Because I see them, boom, bumeranging right back into your face, and you'll be like, oh, my God. So really being selective with what you're putting out there, your thoughts, your words, what you're saying, knowing the energy you're putting out there is going to come back. It's going to come back really, really fast. Um, I also like this. I'm hearing to go to the ocean. If you can go to the ocean, I'm also seeing moving energy. Get to moving energy. So rivers are great for moving energy because obviously it's flowing. Um, and the more, that, like the faster it flows, the faster it will get movement into your body too, into your life. And I'm also hearing go with the flow, right? Be in flow. Don't be in a resistance. This is the month to um, not push doors open. It's the month to just allow and attract and allow the doors to open for you. This is for anything in life. If you're trying really hard and pushing, 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 and things aren't working out, that's a big sign. And it's actually a big sign from the universe and protecting you. If you are sitting there and you're just, things drop in your lap, and I actually feel this month, there may be a lot of decisions because you may be having lots of different things coming to you. Uh, and you have to make decisions, you know. I'm also hearing relationships. If that comes to you, then yes, it's the door that's just opening. And that's where I see. I see this door opening this month of this, this new golden path that you're going to start going on. Then it will get May, June will even be more. But this is like the new path that's going to be emerging, a lot of clarity coming this month. And I love this. And I love, I love uh, working with whale. Whales are very wisdom, listening to the wisdom, very mysterious. They're... Um, they're also from one of the ancient animals that have been here. They've been here from the beginning of time. They're also universal energy. So working with the energy, opening up to flow, in the way I'm seeing right now and channeling it is like you don't even have to push that door. You just have to say yes. Say yes to life. Say yes to something you're wanting. Say yes. And that door will just go and open up. And now everything will just start moving along effortlessly. And that's the way you want life is effortlessly, right? Um, other thing here, I'm going to pull one card for my moon cards too here. Um, I also feel, because I had some channel here, I'm getting more mediumship. Uh, I am a medium, so people come through all the time on me. And that's why I, I, I would connect with me on Facebook, um, my Facebook fan page, not my not my regular page. And you can get on there from my website, vickiandwilliam.com, um, because I feel that um, it's going to be a month of a lot of um, inspiration, openness. So in other words, intuitiveness will, will really be coming up. Like just things will come to your head, having that aha moment. But it's really it's your intuition that's going to be coming through. 
loud and clear. Those are the words I just heard. It's loud and clear. You're going to have lots of clarity. So for those of you that have been asking for clarity, it's going to come in. And I love clarity because clarity gives you direction. Um, it makes you feel safer because, you know, when you're not clear on your intentions, you're not clear on things, that's when you feel a mumble jumble. And then you're like, oh, my God, I don't know what's going on. So clarity is... Um, going to be really good for all of us. So I'm excited to see. These are my moon cards I have here that I love. And we'll see. These are pretty. All these cards that I do are really accurate. Unknown. And of course, I just talked about the unknown and can't make this up, right? Unknown is the card that I pulled here. Unknown. Frequency of black. Receptive. Listening. Empty. Fallow. Regenerate. Rebirth. Renewal. Change. And when I look at this card, the first thing I see is this is going to be our DNA, not just we're going to start changing everything. So where I said like this month would be like, I'm just ready for a whole new life. I wouldn't be surprised if there's going to be a lot of moves or maybe you're going to start looking to move. You're going to start looking for your tribe of frequency of people. The more you evolve, the more you're going to want different people in your life or to live somewhere differently or to be in that high frequency that, you know, you've been wanting. Um, I see this also as green, a lot of heart healing, a lot of heart healing. And the cool thing is right now, we are in the times that, that the thought of belief can change your DNA. It's amazing. The thought of belief can change your DNA. So the minute you change a certain belief or a thought, it changes everything in your experience of life here. Everything. Down to DNA. Um, I see a much higher DNA coming through to us. So that means I feel a lot of healing. I feel a lot of movement in healing, and um, I'm hearing to get movement going in your life. So a way to get movement going in your life, especially if you're feeling stuck or lost, you know, and there's always ebb and flow, but to get things moving is you get moving. That means get off the couch, go on a walk, go on a run, uh, get active. Uh, the other great thing that you can do is uh, write on a piece of paper, whatever it is you're wanting to bring into your life, and put it into a river. Go somewhere where there's moving water and have the intention, the emotion of, I'm getting this moving, I'm allowing this to emerge, and expecting miracles, expecting bigger, whatever you expect you get, whatever you expect you get. Like, it's that simple. And most society, we always doubt uh, you know, we go through fear instead of power. We choose. Remember, each energy, is, each energy is a choice. Either fear can feed you or power can feed you. So letting, I also see with this letting go of, um, letting go of the past, but also letting go of the of past habits. Letting, stepping into something new and adventurous. Growth is always change, changing it up. It could be as simple as going a different way to work. Or, you know, going to a different coffee house or going to a different restaurant or um, going to a different city just for the day. Change it, it, That's one of my favorite things to do is bringing them the essence and the energy uh, when I travel or just sometimes maybe I need ocean energy or sometimes I need peaceful energy. So I'll go to a town just for the day that is more peaceful or I need more stimulation. So go to that town that you have more stimulation for and you're actually absorbing that energy. So um, getting out of your own way is the other thing I'm hearing this month. Getting out of your own way, releasing all blocks, all karma, all fear, um, and and fear in in the biggest way people you know to release fear. A lot of people are in fear all the time. Is getting movement, taking action, taking action when you know it's right. Listening to yourself, not going by anybody else, including me. You're going to know, listening to your intuition, and being like, "This feels right. This is what I'm going to do." Uh, that being said, too, that's what I was telling you about with your body. This is the month you're going to start feeling things. You're going to start listening to your heart. You know, it's going to if 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 you've been in a job or a relationship or or around someone, and your body feels heavy and you're always tired and you're drained and you're stressed, well, obviously they're not lighting you up. Obviously, that needs to be let go. And so it's stepping out of fear. And listening, what excites you? You're going to know when somebody says something or you're around a person or in a situation, you'll be like, oh, this just lights me up. Well, that's the new path, the new habit you're to go to. You're to go to a new habit that inspires you, that lifts your energy up and expands it. It's expansive. These are beautiful times right now. This is a time when expansion, manifesting is going to happen like this if you believe. So get into a new habit 
and you need to take the action. As we know, dating, relationships, whatever it is, when you say people can talk, they can talk a talk. You can talk all day long, but action is what speaks louder than words. And this is so true in life. Action, taking action. Now, action doesn't necessarily mean having to do something. It means you can work with energy. Maybe the action is to heal yourself. Maybe the action is to quiet your mind. Meditation. Meditation's a most must for every single person, every single day. When you meditate, it's life changing because you're getting in control of your brain instead of your brain being in control of you. Because every thought, every word you're putting out there, it's coming back to you and it's instantly coming back. So whatever the action is, ask yourself, tap into your heart, what action do I need to take this month for me? What action? It could be literally an action. It could be going looking for a new job. You know, when it, Whatever it is that you're not getting, um, dating, we'll bring up dating, some trash people here, sorry. Uh, dating, you know, I have so many of my clients, they'll be like, yeah, I want a person, but you know, like, I hate dating. And I'm like, okay, you need to take the action to get, if, you, if you're going to want somebody in your life, you have to date, you have to go out there, you have to put yourself out there in some way. I don't think that the UPS man, I mean, it could happen. They could come knock on your door and you fall madly in love. They could, that could happen, but most likely it's not, and you need to get out there. So think about that in your life, or maybe you need to change your beliefs that, I hear this all the time with dating, oh, there's nobody in my town, they all like stink, you know? And I'm like, nobody in your town, that's a belief. And if you believe that, then that's what is gonna come back to you. So changing it up, taking action. This is the month to look within, what action do I need to take in my life? toward growth, toward healing, toward manifesting my desires. You know, and it could be you just want more peace in your life. Awesome. So do the action. What's more peace in my life? Right now, this is beautiful where I'm sitting right now in California, right? I live in Santa Barbara, California. Gratitude every day. Go to the beach, soak up the peace. Do I do the work? I meditate. I am happy because I do the work. And I wouldn't be helping you guys if I didn't do the work. So it's time to do the work. It's time, I hear this also loud and clear. This is the month to quit talking about it and do something about it. So if you've been in a lack of money, then it's time to look at your money beliefs. What, what am I doing? What am I creating? What do I believe I'm worthy for? A lot of people don't believe they're worthy for money, whatever money they want. So looking at that and letting you, I am doing a four week course in April on manifesting abundance online. So. Um, everybody loves money and all my readings everybody always wants more money there's so many things that and money is no different of attracting to you than any other energy it's just energy but you got to get the money mindset you got to rework your mind so that might be something that you want to do this month maybe it's taking action on bringing in a new relationship or maybe it's action on within your own relationship that you're wanting to um, dive deeper into that so really asking yourself what do I need to do to um, this month to take action. It could be just healing yourself and taking more downtime, you know, soaking in the bath more, giving yourself more self love, taking teas, wine, whatever it is that you give yourself a little nurturing, self nurturing. So listening and asking, and it's so easy. All you have to do is put your hand on your heart, tap into your heart, your heart will talk to you. You have to ask it, you have to talk to it. So I hope this helps for March, uh, or I mean, March, April. April Fool's Day. Actually, I'm doing this recording today on April Fool's Day. Uh, can't wait to see you, work with you. I could visit my website, subscribe here. I will be coming on YouTube a little bit more. Hopefully soon I'll be doing some YouTube live. Um, if you want to see me more live, though, I'm more on Facebook, and you can follow me on Instagram too, Vicki Muñoz. Everybody have a magical month, abundant month, a healing month.